The Time and Status column displays how much time an issue spent in particular statuses before it transitioned to another status. For example, with this column you can easily track bottleneck issues that your team struggle with or to find how long developers worked on fixing a bug. Once you add the column, there are a few options that you can choose from. Statuses. This setting defines which status or statuses the calculating time value will be based on. Only time spent in this statuses will be aggregated and displayed as a result. The returns only condition considers time spent in the selected statuses only if an issue reached a given status or statuses more than once. For example, if you're calculating time spent in progress and an issue was reopened, this would only consider the time spent in the in-progress status the second time around. The transition filter condition considers time in a given status or statuses only if an issue was transitioned to a particular status next. The sum over sub-items option allows you to aggregate time spent values from sub-issues to their parent issues. The work time option converts the spend time parameter into Jira duration time. Apart from being displayed in the column, the time and status value can also be used as a variable in the formula column.